I'm Bill Witham, the CEO of AMEG, the Australian African Minerals and Energy Group, and welcome to our first AMEG African Awards. Very happy of the turnout, I'm very happy with the, the nominations that we received, and it's been quite a bit of work over the last few months. AMEG's been talking about awards such as this for quite a while now. We've developed these awards really to um, help um, tell the stories of some of the amazing um, things that we do and delivering projects that are sustainable and are adding value to the local communities in which um, our members and other Australian operators um, do it on the continent of Africa. There are two awards that we're going to grant. Um, What we were looking for was uh, local content, uh, local content that reflected the needs and aspirations of the communities, of local government, of national government, and really aligned to that, uh, enjoying partnerships within that, and uh, targets that, you know, targeted preferential treatment as well. Capability development, innovation, and supporting um, that knowledge transfer and information. So Austral African Survey Group was one. Base Resources, a fantastic application from uh, Base Resources and great initiatives as well. Capital Drilling, Minopex, Resolute, DRA, Globe 24-7. And the winner is Resolute. <laughs> Accepting the award is John Wellborn, CEO of Resolute. That's very exciting. This is a great surprise for me. I've been very proud of my involvement with AMEG, uh, and as Ben said, these awards have been a long time in uh, development. And reading the nomination, I actually got very proud, even more proud than I usually am, about the work we're doing in the Mali Talent Development Program at Siama, in our apprenticeship program with the John Bosco College at uh, nearby um, city of Sakaso, uh, and the MOU we've signed with the Bamako University. And so this award is accepted on behalf of the Malians who uh, are in those programs, and all of our staff uh, at Siama and here in Perth corporately who have been part of all of that workforce development. So I'm accepting this on their behalf. Thank you very much to AMEG, um, and this is great fun. Thank you. Space Resources Project in Kenya, their, uh, their recruitment program and, and the way that they employ Kenyans and their, their, their methodology, methodology was very good. They had very good supporting uh, evidence from um, videos online, etc. So, and representing BASE is Mr. Tim Carstens, the, uh, the CEO of BASE Resources. We're, we're enormously proud of the way we've gone about um, our recruitment approach in, in Kenya. Um, it's worked extremely well. We're 65% of the Kenyan mining industry and we were Kenya's first large-scale mining project. So we didn't really have the labour pool to, um, to begin with. And we've got over 1,000 people on that site now and we're about 98% Kenyan. Um, we're about 70% from the local community uh, in, a, in a mine that's achieved incredible safety performance and incredible operational performance. So it's, um, it's been a massive success for us. It's been a great model that we're now looking to, to roll out in, in Madagascar, but it's also a model that we're quite happy to share um, with people. Now we, you know, we, we regard it as a bit of base IP, but it's also part of our contribution to um, you know, trying to have an impact in, uh, in the countries in which we all operate. So if anyone's interested in understanding a bit more about it, um, feel free to make contact. So. The social innovation, uh, best innovation in corporate social development, we were looking for demonstrated uh, a novel idea and to challenge the status quo to do something that uh, is effective, efficient and sustainable and to demonstrate leadership in uh, environmental, social and government governance practices where appropriate. We are also looking for collaboration and engagement. Our uh, submissions, one was from Vault, a graphite company in Tanzania. Uh, Strandline, Syrah operating in um, Mozambique, also in graphite. And the winner is uh, Syrah. We were really impressed by their exceptional dedication to 
upskilling members of the local community and the commitment to retaining the workforce, which we consider to be providing long-term uh, local economic advantage. So congratulations. So um, I think Jordan's here from Syro. What a great honour. Um, I think it's a great initiative that uh, AMAC have come up with. It's, it really establishes a platform for us to launch into what we do into the industry and to raise the profile of not only, not only what we do, but how we do it, which to me is incredibly important. I accept this award on behalf of the team. It's been an amazing four and a half years and the dedication has come from the top all the way through into the community. Really excited and the team will be stoked. Thank you. We wanted to recognise the contribution of four people that have put a lot into AMIG way above and beyond what's normal and, and it's really made it what it is today and got it going when times were tough, saw it through when times were even tougher uh, but are still around today and for me they're all fantastic assets, um, great people for me to, to bounce things off and have an incredible amount of knowledge. We're giving four uh, certificates of lifetime membership in AMIG today. First will be Robin, Robin Budden. Robin uh, is based in Albany but is working a lot in, uh, in Mali at the moment with Resolute. He's done a lot of work for AMEG. Uh, I think you might have read the Social Aspects Handbook. Fantastic piece of work which people are still using today. Um, Robin, would you please come up and, and take, grab your certificate? Okay, the next person is probably one of the founding directors of uh, AMEG. Uh, he's very passionate, um, really a giant of the industry, uh, Mr Bill Turner. Uh, the next person, uh, the, the, the original CEO, uh, Trish O'Reilly. <laughs> Trish did, uh, was CEO for about six years or more maybe, um, still obviously very involved in here today and uh, again a fantastic resource and, and a great, great advocate for Amy. Thanks Trish. Huge surprise. <laughs> <laughs> And last but not least, and this, other, this person won't know either, but today, I, you know, obviously we're here, Africa Down Under, a man who, who drives AMEG, um, houses us in his office, um, fantastic strategy, uh, Mr Bill Rippard, please come up and accept our lifetime membership.